Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 496. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 494 to 501. Hey, in this trick here, we want to see how to build a basic attendance sheet uh, for a classroom. Start off, I'll just put a uh, title at the top. I'm a terrible speller, so I'm sure I'll make lots of mistakes. Uh, attendance, and then I want a, a column for names. And then I'm just going to put in a student and then the number one. That's a word and a number together. Control Enter to put that in the cell and keep the cell uh, highlighted. And then I'm going to point to my little fill handle there. And when I see my crosshair or angry rabbit, I'm going to click and drag. Notice it increments numbers. When there's a word and number, it does that. Now I'm going to highlight a few columns, a um, few rows down. Uh, maybe to there, because our template needs to incorporate maybe that there'll be some more students. I'm going to go up to home, and on the borders, I'm going to say all borders, just to get this going here. Now, I need uh, some days, and our starting date for this quarter is going to be 2 slash 1 slash 10. That is a Monday, but I want it to show the word Monday, and I want to be able to copy it over here. Dates will copy if we pull this over there, but I want to format this. So I'm going to Control-1. Control-1 is the keyboard shortcut for format cells. I'm going to point to date, and I'm going to go down. I don't want the built-in one. I want to go down to custom. We're going to learn something about custom uh, number format. M is month, D is day, Y is year. Now watch this. When I type the day, just a single D, oh, it gives me one digit two digits, but when I type three, it shows me the actual abbreviation for that day. Comma, and then I'm going to do M slash D slash year. So each one of our dates, when we copy this over there, copy this to the uh, right, will show this custom number format. Control Enter. Oh, no, I didn't. I just Enter there. And now I want to copy this over. There's that fill handle, and when I point and I see my uh, cross here, I'm going to click and drag. Now I'm going to drag it all the way over. Notice the screen tip says there's Saturdays and Sundays. Huh. I'm only going to 219. Uh, no, further than that. Let's say it goes to 3, uh, Friday 3, 5. Now I'm going to let go. There's some Saturdays and Sundays in there, and I do not want that. So I immediately point to this incredibly cool smart tag, click the drop down arrow, and say fill weekdays only. So there I have my weekdays. If any of the dates uh, come show up like that, it, that that uh, pound sign right there, those all pound signs means uh, the column is not wide enough. So I'm going to just to check. I'm going to click here, and now I'm going to use a keyboard shortcut to highlight all the way back to A1. I'm going to hold Control and Shift and left arrow. Now. I can automatically best fit every single column by double clicking between any one of them. Watch, I'll click this over here and it best fits all of them. Now I want to highlight the entire uh, table here. So I'm going to click in that cell because I want to add borders to, to all of it. Actually, not yet. Let's click in this cell and control right arrow. Control right arrow jumps to the end of the current region. And then I'm going to simply hit my uh, right arrow. I'm going to type the type of the column header total because this is this is where we'll have our column that adds up all of the the uh, attendance. I'm going to control enter to keep put the word total in and keep that cell highlighted. And now I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut control asterisk asterisk on the number pad and that highlights my whole table. Oh, but that doesn't work cuz we have some blanks. So I'm actually going to do something tricky here. I'm going to click in this cell Control Shift left arrow that highlights all the way down, and then I'm going to hold Shift and just down arrow, down arrow. I'm holding Shift and down arrowing. I'm going to go all the way down to right there. So I've highlighted even the blank rows, and now I'm going to use my all borders right there. So that's the entire table right there. Let's go ahead and add some formatting. I'm going to click in this cell, Control Shift right arrow, and I'm going to maybe add some uh, dark fill. You can pick whichever color you want. And Home. I'm going to turn this on, right click, uh, Unminimize. And I'm going to select a light font color. Right, I'm going to do, uh, actually make this bold, and I'm going to increase the font size. 
way much very big there. Now, what are we going to do once we have some students? I mean, minimize that. I can't use the keyboard shortcut for that because it will turn my uh, recorder off. Now let's just put some uh, numbers in here. I'm going to highlight those and then hold control and highlight these. In that active cell I'm going to type 1 and control enter. I'm just adding some what's called dummy data, right, just to see if this will work. 1, so some students missed uh, and some other students didn't. 1, I'm entering some data. And this, this day everyone came. Okay, so we have some data. Now we want to come over here and we want to see how to simply add equals SUM open parentheses. And now I'm going to use my arrow keys or my mouse. Uh, the mouse you can click and drag and you have to drag it all the way over here. Takes a while. I'm dragging, 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 not the words like that. So you can do it with the mouse or you can say equals SUM open parentheses. And then I'm going to left arrow and then I'm going to hold control shift and left arrow and then again control shift left arrow I went too far so I'm going to let go of the control and just holding shift I'm in a back arrow alright so I've highlighted that and if you scroll over here both methods will work I'm going to use control enter to put that auto sum in the cell and then I'm going to copy it down using my fill handle. So the fill handle works for dates, words, and formula. So I'm going to copy it all the way down there. Now all my formulas are here so I'm going to format this slightly different. I'm going to go to home and then this cell and I'm going to select some some color. That just tells me that uh, that cell has a formula. Now I don't like all these zeros down here. You notice if we come over here we don't have any students. I want it to show a blank when there is uh, no student. So somehow I need this formula to show a blank, not add a sum, when this cell is blank. So we're going to use an if statement. Now I have all of these cells highlighted and the active cell is right there. I'm going to hit the F2 key. Notice I have all of the cells. All of these cells have formula. If I edit uh, the formula here and change it and use control enter it will populate all of the cells with the new formula so in this active cell I'm gonna hit F2 and I want a formula that says if that cell way over there is blank then please put a blank in the cell otherwise do the sum so the way I'm gonna do that is gonna click in between the equal sign and the S and I'm gonna type the if function open parentheses and now I'm gonna scroll over here because it needs a logical test and the logical test is gonna be is this cell way over here I clicked on it, I'm going to scroll all the way back, is equal to, and blank is double quote, double quote. So that is our logical test. Logical tests only come out true or false. That cell is either blank or it's not. Now if that cell is blank, which actually is for the students down here, what in the world do we want in this cell? That means value of true. If this comes out true, which means the student's name is blank, what do we want? Double quote, double quote. We want to show a blank in the cell. Notice the screen tip is really polite here. Now I'm going to type a comma and now what's the value of false which means it's not blank the sum. Now I'm going to very carefully click over here it's safer to click up in the formula bar and type my uh, close parentheses. Now remember we highlighted all the cells and we're editing in the active cell so I hold control and tap enter. Now down here it shows a blank. Now let's just test this. Let's go over here and pull this name down here and type 1 here, right? Now I'm going to hit uh tab and then control arrow to navigate all the way over there. Sure enough, the formula pops up and it's calculating correctly. Now isn't this annoying here that we have to always scroll all the way over? Oh, I see some uh, uh, pound signs. I'm going to actually click the select all button right there and then just double click. Double click. That fixed this one too, which we really didn't need to. That one's okay if it's hanging out. Now, it's kind of annoying. Actually, let's add a color to this all the way down to here. I just clicked and dragged with my selection cursor. I'm going to add a really, really light blue right there. Now, what I'd like is when I scroll over here, I want to see those names, right? So when I'm looking at the totals, I can see the names. So I'm going to freeze panes. I'm going to click on the B column, and this will actually freeze uh, the, the everything to the left. Uh, the if I can even remember where it is, I'm so keyboard uh, friendly. 
view freeze panes uh, freeze panes this th in 2007 it's top row or left column but I have selected the whole column so this one will work right here notice you could do both at the same time in fact we could do that but I'm just gonna click here and right now if we scroll over right you can see that those names in fact let's go over here and let's do double click column A now that attendance is there so when I scroll over you know and this is nice for entering data right because then you can come to whatever day it is you can just uh, keep scrolling over and and add in all of the uh, ones for I am here or whatever the score is and then there are the formulas you can come all the way over here and actually you could do uh, this too if you on the final day you could say equals this tab equals this tab and then copy this down those are two different formulas right to there and then you have a little uh, area that you could print this out you could actually go uh, page layout set print area set print area right so this is the final uh, tally right and then you could add whatever formatting if you set print area none of this is going to print if you wanted to unset the print area you go to print area and clear print area all right, so that's just a little uh, attendance sheet uh, with um, some formatting, some custom normal formatting, uh, an if and some, uh, and freeze pane. All right, we'll see you next trick.